This Group 2 state final starts at 152 pounds, and at the Bucknell bound Christian Basilino of Hanover Park with the takedown as he would post the tech fall 21 6 and 321 over Kai Dickerson, and the Hornets have a 5 0 lead. At 160 pounds, watch Nick Seck and Lenby Valley get the takedown late in the third as he would decision Matt Santos 5 2, and Lenby Valley trails 5 3 after two matches. We move to 170 pounds and watch Anthony Oliveira at Hanover Park take down Joey LaBelle as he would go on to post a 5-1 decision and Hanover Park would take an 8-3 lead over the Pats. Then watch DJ Barrett of Lenny Valley at 182 pounds get the two here in the second period and route to a 3-0 decision over Mason Sangillo for a 100th career win and Lenny Valley cuts Hanover Park's lead to 2 8-6. We move to 195 pounds and watch Sam Palumbo of Lenape Post the fall in 143 over Paul Roca, and the Pats take a 12 8 lead after five matches. Then it's Ralph Wall of Lenby Valley with the takedown in the pin of Eric Bocart in 239, here at 220 pounds, and the Pats are up by 10, 18 8. At 285 pounds, watch Tom Hunt of Hanover Park get the takedown and the three back points here in the third period as he would go on to post a 6 2 decision over Richie Fritzke to cut Lenby Valley's lead to 18-11 midway through the match. We go to 106 pounds and it's all Gerard Angelo of Hanover Park with the takedown of Jacob Fellini as he would major Fellini 13-2 and Hanover Park trails by 3, 18-15. Hanover Park would retake the lead here at 113 pounds while Sean Connolly locked up the pin in just 32 seconds against Ray Samaha and the Hornets go up 21-18 with five matches remaining. And the Hornets register another full year at 120 pounds. Watch Lou Ramo take care of Jake Hickey in 209, and the Hornets have a nine point lead, 27 18. They move to 126 pounds, and the Hornets pin parade continues here. Watch Marco Zecca deck Aaron Murphy at 253, and Hanover Park pushes its lead to 33 18 with just three matches to go. And reigning state champ Anthony Cephalo. Wraps up the state title here for the Hornets at 132 pounds with the pin at 135 over Aaron Arzon and the Hornets are up 39-18 with two matches to go. At 138 pounds, it's Austin Nash of Hanover Park with the takedown and route to a 7-3 decision over Nick Palumbo and it's 42-18 Hanover Park. And Hanover Park caps its big victory here at 145 pounds, but Gene Angelo pin Alvaro de Oliveira in 46 seconds as Hanover Park tops Lenby Valley 48-18 to win its first ever Group 2 state title at the Sunbank Center in Trenton. It's a great feeling to come out here and wrestle. You know, um, uh, I never thought, you know, that we would make it here. Well, like, and just being out here is a great experience, you know, for me being a senior and uh, leading this team out here. Uh, it's, it's been fun. This is a great season. We actually tied the school record for wins, and uh, I honestly didn't expect we were going to go this far at all. I'm just happy we made it. The bottom line is we came in as the underdog. They were the better team. We wanted to fight the good fight a little better than what we did, but nonetheless, you know, you got to give those guys all the credit in the world. They, they were here last year. They came up short. That probably made them more hungry than they would have been, you know, and uh, they deserve it. You know, they got after it and uh, they wrestled well and not a lot you can say. Definitely. And only the third time Lenape Valley's been in a, in a group final. I mean, you guys, I think at the beginning of the year, people thought you could win this section, but I'm not sure they thought you could get this far. What's that say? You and uh, Joey LaBelle, the outgoing seniors here, you were able to kind of leave your mark. Yeah, I mean, I'll look back on this moment when I'm your age and just, you know, think how great it was of accomplishment to, uh, you know, actually get here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we tied our, you know, we're the second team. In, school, in our school history to have this many wins. So, you know, that's a great accomplishment in itself. And yeah, wrestling out here was fun. Tremendous season for our guys. You know, um, if somebody would have said in the beginning of the season, hey, you guys will fire off 21 wins and a sectional title and make it to the, the finals of the all group. I might have raised my eyebrows and said, I don't know, but we'll try hard, you know. But considering uh, that it's a team with two seniors, and throughout our lineup, we got a small handful of guys who lack experience. There's a first year kid in the lineup. There's a second year kid in the lineup. There's a kid that's in his third year. 
uh, of experience in our lineup. So we're young, but uh, I'm proud of our effort this year. And uh, I think when the, when the guys come and they experience something like this, it makes them hungry to achieve more. We do some summer wrestling, and at least where I come from, summer wrestlers are winter champions. So if we do that, we come back here next year, we try hard again. How about for you uh, to get your 100th career win down here, a special day for you uh, individually, getting that, getting that 100th. You're the 13th wrestler at Lenape to get 100 wins, so it's a pretty exclusive club. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm part of that exclusive club. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got it here. So, uh, you know, add, a, add like 10 more wins to that, you know, by the end of the season. How about for you? You're not done yet. Obviously, you got uh, a chance to get back down to Atlantic City. What, what are your goals heading into the uh, individual postseason? Um, to dominate, to, you know, have fun, most importantly, and, you know, keep winning is obviously the goals I have for myself. How about, uh, you know, just you'll be one of the main guys next year, you'll be one of the seniors that get down here. What's uh, obviously the goal is to get back here. What will be your message to the younger guys next year? Uh, we just got to do a lot of summer wrestling, get better individually, and uh, as individuals, we'll be better as a team.